You're listening to the Major Pod Network, the only place where your favorite toy store, card shop, arcade, theme park, and arena are all on the same block. Scratch that major itch. The following announcement has been paid for by the Major World Order. everyone, Billy Peck with the Major World Order Podcast, and I am about ready to board my plane to Los Angeles, a place that I love going and visiting, uh, but we'll only be there for a short amount of time. I am going, of course, if you're watching this vlog, you know that this is all about Live 2000, taking place at the Bourbon Room from the film and the musical stage production of Rock of Ages. A lot of really cool guests, uh, some, some different ones that majors haven't had before. And um, yeah, just really looking forward to the, to the show, working it and all that stuff. We got some, uh, very cool figure reveals plan that I think a lot of people are going to uh, uh, geek out over. And I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that I don't even know about, so uh, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good time. Uh, my trip is going to be pretty short. Driving Wednesday, the 29th. So it's Thursday the 30th and I leave Friday 31st my band Graveyard Smash is playing a very very important show on April 1st so uh, had to cut it short but hopefully uh, a lot of people uh, take video you can capture their moments for uh, what their Wrestlemania weekend is like because I think it's going to be a great time for a lot of people. And, well, we'll see how this vlog goes. You're not allowed to go there. <laughs> we made it to LAX. First time in Los Angeles, not first time in California. I encountered Billy. He's in the bathroom right now, but I attacked him in the bathroom. Got all my stuff. Breath. It's cold over here and rainy. For some reason, it's like back at home in Connecticut. Okay. Still the back. I wish it was more terror. Oh. Is that is that Michael B. Moynihan? No, 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 no. People, I get I get that all the time. Pick us up in a limousine and take us to where we the, the real green room before we would get on the uh, parade route. Have uh, you seen the Hollywood Christmas parade? Yes. And um. And that's the Gable that Lombard was, room. Yeah, that was oh, our wow. green room up there, which was really cool. That's <laughs> uh, Clark Gable and Carol wow. Lombard lived together up there. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it was Bob Gable and Jose Lombard, but it's they still <laughs> got the names right. Yeah. Wow. That was them. History lesson from. Yeah. There you go. From the Hollywood. characters of Zubilee I definitely, Zoo. I definitely... <laughs>
everybody. Um, I had work this morning though. Try to, we're gonna try to leave out about lunch into the airport. It's about a two hour drive. And uh, I got a lot to do before that. Finish packing. So we'll see how it goes. It's at the table where we're still hanging out. I, I just know how much you love vlogs right in your face. Hey, we started a, a site, didn't we? I even edited Are you a vlogging video. though? Not currently, but I'm That's I what that. I thought. I will be later. I will be vlogging, like vlogging and vlogging. My gosh. I don't know what the hell I just said. You're going to edit that shit out. No, no. It's Dave. <laughs> I'm happy to vlog for you anytime, Billy. So as you can see, we're walking down the beautiful Baltimore, Biltmore Hotel. Look at these fucking pictures. You're not crazy. It's 1937. 1937. Right you just said that. I got your text. Apparently, Rich Swan is here. I Rich Swan. Yes. Yeah. No one told us that. I, no I, told, us that. I told. I told you. Well, yes. You Billy took care of us. See. That's what Billy's here for. That's right. Ghostbusters. Hey, see, it's kind of like what uh, um, Matthew Bolt did. Like the major pod pig. Oh, hey, you're Walt right. Disney is out here. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I know. <laughs> How you doing? Oh. <laughs> See, now I will. Stiff mofo. Yeah. <laughs> you just kicked them back to sleep. <laughs> That's fine. I don't want to talk. You brought vodka? No. Oh, you brought that? Yeah, that How did that not go on so the beep, beep, beep thing? Like, <laughs> the like beep, beep, beep thing? Yeah, I'm going to sign that down so it's not so weird. I'm going to have yeah. that and buy it, but I was going to have it. Tomorrow. Hell yeah. If you get like a, um, like a, is it gloss? Like a gloss white? Yeah. That'll smooth it out too. Okay. Like a, like a gloss coat and that'll kind of seal it. That's cool. What is this, laser engraved? That's dope. The brand behind their backs. <laughs> Show the camera. Uh -oh. M-E-W-F. The brand behind their backs. <sighs> Walking to the WrestleMania Superstore. Looking to have a good time there. See what kind of figures reveals they've got. I am so excited. So excited. Especially for those Cody's that they just put up on. Yeah, they just announced Cody's and that 32. That Stardust Shawn Michaels. Yeah. Uh, let's go this way. This way? There's Shawn Michaels in the the uh, the Texas Hearts and the cowboy hat. Oh, yeah, that's it's, beautiful. That it's, gear. It's going to be amazing. All right. On to Superstore. Are these for the indie god to change? Oh my god, it's gotta be! It's gotta be! Husbar?
of execution is on top. There's a new gun in town. I made a vow to become a law enforcement officer. See these handcuffs right here? They're an instrument of justice. The big boss man is law and order justice of the World Wrestling Federation. Who will survive? Millennium Biltmore. Millennium Biltmore in Los Angeles, and uh, down the halls they have like pictures of like I guess movies that were filmed in this location, and uh, we're trying to find where, and we're thinking maybe this area could be like where they entered the hotel. It looks like the the video game for Ghostbusters. For ghost, the Ghostbusters games, you go back to that hotel. And so yeah, they say that uh, the Sedgwick yeah. Hotel in Ghostbusters is filmed here. That's the ballroom, but it's certainly not the doors. But they could have designed this and then hit the chandelier with the proton stream. I don't know. Pretty cool. This is where they come in, right here. Like that's like the main, you know, the Ecto one pulls up, they come in, and then this is the ballroom with fucking Slimer. Is it? Five thousand dollars? Is it? You all right? Yeah. <laughs> the flowers are still standing. Yeah, they are. Amazing. It messes up everybody in front of you, around you. They don't want to. They don't want to hear what you're saying right now, Mary Kate. <laughs> Mary Kate. Mary Kate. Mary Kate. Mary Kate. So that's all. It's just a nice, friendly reminder. Have fun, but please keep the table talk to a you know very low. No.
think we're so mad at Revealers on the show. Oh, look at this belt. I wasn't mad. Oh, man. Imagine the pop when I would have showed 200 people this little guy. No one would have gave a fuck about this. You gotta put it on the shoulder. God, it's horrible. What? <laughs> so heavy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where we were, and he started smiling. Like, surprised we're here. Oh, God. What's he wearing? What is he wearing? Josh Alexander. Oh, my God. All right. So, this is pretty much the end of my trip. I said it was going to be a short one. I got it here on Wednesday. Uh, got to travel around with uh, my friends in <laughs> Zubawi Zoo. I know that's a very obscure thing, but if those who do know it, know it, uh, you know, it, it's that's pretty cool. So I uh, got to thank Michael and Sandy for taking, taking us around Hollywood for a little while and showing us some history. And Thursday was the live show. You see all the footage from that. And, um, man, these things are always so much fun. But, like, I know for sentimental reasons, some, you know, kind of top others out. But this, personally, may have been the best one. The venue was incredible, whether you were here, watched it on uh, Premier Streaming Network, or just saw some of the clips uh, from this vlog, or the major vlog, uh, or any of the other major marks that put out vlogs. Uh, I'm sure a lot of cool footage which was captured. Um, the venue was just so cool, like uh, an old school venue. Uh, you know, Bourbon Room said it was uh, modeled after the Rock of Ages and, and, you know, they put concerts on there, but it's also like, it's set up like a play, like a theater stage. So there's all these, uh, you know, doors for the characters, you know, from the show to come out of. And we utilized that and man, it was just... It was so cool. Every guest was, you know, sometimes, look, some of the guests can maybe not be the most exciting or, or whatever, but this one, everybody was on fire. The crowd was into it. I'm pretty sure just the biggest crowd that we've had for a, a major pod show. And uh, yeah, just loved it. Um, so... <laughs> Saw Greg the Hammer Valentine confront Matt, saying, uh, I watched you on YouTube and you said you weren't a fan of me, but you had my figure. <laughs> and Matt was speechless. Uh, Greg the Hammer actually looked maybe a little pissed, uh, but uh, it was it was funny. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm at the airport. I've never, I mean, LAX very very busy airport never experienced this before there's like maybe 20 people here in in this section of the airport at least and like the the security points are uh are, are caged off you can't get through them um so uh yeah anyway it's friday morning thursday night whatever you want to call it it's the a.m thought the live show would you know the the after party ends up lasting for a while and it it went on for a little bit but I, a lot of the people kind of like got out of there and i think you know look it's west coast so you know it's two three hours uh difference for some people so you know when it's when it's 11 o'clock here in los angeles you know, for a lot of us, it's actually uh, 1 or 2 a.m. So I think a lot of people maybe started to get tired and 
You know, LA is, you know, everything's so spread out here. Anyway, I'm going on and on, probably because I'm going to be here for several hours. So I thought the show would have, you know, the after party would have got over about two. I'd come to the airport, uh, you know, shortly after, you know, my, my, plane boards about 5 a.m. so get here two hours early like okay didn't get a hotel room ended up getting here at like 1 30 I don't even know what time it is 1 30 a.m. so I've got I've got several hours and so anyway um, I'm not sure who all is filming vlog uh, footage but uh, this could be the end of it or there'll be more. I don't know if this is the end of it. And if it's not, whatever. Uh, again, always thank you for watching this stuff. Um, attending the shows, watching the vlogs, watching the pay-per-view. And just being part of the community and sharing your your thoughts. It seemed like a lot of people really loved this one. So, all right. I think that's about it. Uh, talk to you all soon in the the facebook group and on the major world order podcast and all that so thank you all group is taking over dodger stadium we got nick thompson we got Husbar, and we got yeah buddy josh stable <laughs> p.m. Uh, California time. It's mania just happened. I had to leave during the main event because I have to catch my plane. Uh, it's time to go back to Connecticut, unfortunately. Um, California is always the best. Um, had such a great weekend. Um, I was a little cranky. If you can hear my voice, I'm tired. I lost my voice a little bit, but um i had such a great weekend great friends as always um you know solidifying those connections um but now back to reality um five hour six hour red eye flight back to connecticut which will be uh interesting I mean, here's all uh, fucked up as always <laughs> anyways uh but yeah i had the best time um thank you david truitt uh, Josh Stapleton, uh, JPE, um, his cousin Steven, Nick Thompson, and Alejandro. Uh, you guys helped, uh, help me have a hell of a weekend and, um, great seeing the Cisco's and, um, everyone at the live show. And, uh, I'm rambling on at this point because I'm tired, but, um, oh, it was a great trip. Um, out to Uber all my stuff and get to the airport and i'll uh, check in with you when i when i land at 7 30 in the morning connecticut time all right guys Oh, Lord.